carbocation chemistry part 4 it will be all about non classical carbocations now before going to the discussion i'd like to mention please watch the previous videos of carbocation chemistry and for that you can click on the link playlist link appearing on the screen or you can also find it in the description box so what is non classical carbocation so as it says non classical there must be some difference from the usual carbocation that is a classical carbocations so in this case that is non classical carbocations they receive stabilization via charge delocalization into adjacent ch bond or cc sigma bond so there will be some special kind of stabilization and that is occurring via some delocalization of electron density in the adjacent ch sigma bond or it may be adjacent cc sigma bond now when it is usual chemical bonds what we know it is sharing of electrons between two atoms but in this case that is if it is stable non classical ions now it is it may be that three or more atoms are actually sharing single pair of electrons so most of the examples that you are going to see it will be you will see it is three atoms sharing single pair of electrons but it may be more than three also if we consider definition of stable non classical ions the most popular example for non classical carbocation is two norbornyl cation now what is this norbornyl system that we have to know first basically when it is not cation it is neutral it is non sorry norbornyl system if you follow this numbering and if there is two position we have any positive charge that may be generated from any derivative of non bonding system suppose at two position there is a good leaving group and it is removed and then you are getting some positive charge so there may be different ways by which it can be generated but if there is a positive charge at two position now we will call it two non bonding cation and this positive charge at two position now we will see how it can be stabilized by the cc uh, sigma bond adjacent cc sigma bond here this positive charge is present at two position and if this 1 6 sigma bond is broken which is in different color this 1 6 sigma bond when broken now the electron density of this 1 6 sigma bond now it is between 6 and 2 so 1 6 sigma bond broken and newly generated sigma bond is between 2 and 6 carbon atoms another possibility is if this 2 6 bond sigma bond is broken and there is a pi bond generation and that is between 1 and 2 and the positive charge it is now at 6 position and it is primary ch2 plus the previous one that is uh, first and second case it is not primary it is secondary but this is primary so from that point of view you can say that it will have some minor contribution but uh, these three are the possibilities by which stabilization of this positive charge which is initially at two position because of this delocalization now it will be stable so these are the resonance structures for two norbornyl cation now there is a full sigma bond between one c1 and c6 for the first structure for the second structure it is full sigma bond between two and six carbon atoms and for the last one there is a pi bond between carbon number one and two now if we take the average structure of these three it will be like this so in this case now as it is average structure single structure so there will not be full sigma bond or full pi bond as you have seen in the previous three structures now there will be partial sigma bond between 1 and 6 that is this one then partial sigma bond between c2 and c6 which is coming from the second picture and the last picture it is partial pi bond between c1 and c2 so in this way the two electrons suppose the two electrons that is present here it is as if hovering between three atoms carbon number one carbon number two and carbon number six so that is why it is non-classical carbocation now what is the basic difference between this classical and non-classical the key difference is classical carbocations they are having carbon atom having six electrons in normal 2c 2e type of bond two center two electron type of bond now when it is non classical carbocations there will be 3c 2e bond that means two electrons they are now hovering over three carbon atoms so that is why it is three centered 
two electron bond. So this suggests three atoms in non-classical carbocation that are now sharing two electron uh, two electrons, which is unusual as we see in normal chemical bonds, which is two C two E. It is very difficult to distinguish them experimentally because there is very little difference in the energy between them. Fine, and classical carbocations the stabilization comes from inductive effect, resonance effect, and hyperconjugation effect. Now, re stabilization related to carbocation that I have discussed in the previous video, which is part three of carbocation chemistry. For that, you can click on the link right now appearing on the screen top right corner. So this is stabilization for non-classical uh, carbocation, but when it is non-classical carbocation, the stabilization that the origin of stabilization it is completely different. It is sigma bond through formation of 3C2E bond. We'll also see some more examples. Here the example that you are seeing methanonium iron that is CH5 as if it is protonated methane. Now, details of this car carbocation I have already discussed in the first part. And that also, uh, you can click on the link right now appearing on the screen. So, I am not going into the details. Next example for another non-classical carbocation is this one, cyclopropyl carbonate. Now, the picture that you are seeing right now is actually the average speak, uh, picture. Fine. Now, what are the individual structures if we focus on that? So here in the first structure, positive charge is present at carbon number 1. But if it is carbon number, second picture, this is 1, this is 2, this is 4. So now there is a bond uh, formation between 1 and 4 carbon and these 2, 4 bond that is broken. And another possibility which is though minor contributor because they are, uh, see, this is 1. This is 2 and this is 4. So 1, 2, 4. Here 2, 4 bond that is not present. Okay. In the uh, say previous one also 2, 4 bond is not present. But which bond is broken compared to the previous one? Here this bond that is 1, 4 bond is broken. And at 1 and 2 position there is a newly generated pi bond. So this is a minor contributor. If you take the average, you will get the first uh, average structure. Next example. Now, it is not benzyl carbocation. Benzyl, it should be positive charge in the next carbon. This carbon here should be positive charge. But here we have positive charge here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, if there is a, uh, this 3, 4 pi bond is broken, there will be positive charge at 4 position. And 1, 3 bond, now it is connected. So, this is 3, this is 2, this is 1 and this is 4. So, 3, 4, pi bond broken. There is a newly generated sigma bond between 3 and 1. Now, you can also draw the other resonance structures. If this sigma bond is shifted. Now, this type of resonance uh, we already do in normal any uh, carbocation, uh, benzyl carbocation. Okay. Or if uh, you consider electrophilic substitution reaction, then this type of resonance structures we draw. But I'm trying to say that more resonance structures we can draw from this. And if we take the average, it will be phenonium iron and it will look like this. The next, it is again a non bonded system, but now the positive charge is present at 7 position. Now, in this case, if there is a newly generated bond between 3 and 7, and this pi bond between 3 and 2, which is in blue color, that is broken. And 3, 7 sigma bond is formed. Another possibility, if 3, 2 bond, pi bond is broken, but now the bond is between 2 and 7. So now the positive charge will be over 3, unlike the previous one, where the positive charge is over 2, because 3, 7 bond is formed. But average structure will be this one. And not, last but not the least, these are some more examples possible. Protonated acetylene, ethylene and ethene. And what are the corresponding uh, names that are also given in the bracket. Fine. You can draw the structure of them yourself also. So I hope that uh, I am able to shed some light on the non-classical carbocations. Thank you for watching.